Hi everyone, I'm Stefan and this is my new Schefflera. Or should I say Schefflera's? I have two of them. I bought this pair of Schefflera plants from the grocery store with the intention of training them into bonsai trees. Judging from the small leaf size, this is a dwarf umbrella tree or Schefflera arboricola. Like with most store-bought plants, the label doesn't help much in correctly identifying the species. Fortunately, in this case it's clear this is not the full-size umbrella tree, which is a distinct species called Schefflera actinophila, which has much larger leaves. The canopy looks nice, but it's the result of the two plants growing together, so each Schefflera plant covers about half of the canopy. The first order of business is to take the Schefflera plants out of this pot. They've been growing in this spongy soil, largely based on coconut choir, which is not appropriate for most house plants and especially not suitable for bonsai. So I will remove this soil completely. The roots look nice and healthy, which is always a good indicator of the plant health state. I'm going to start removing the soil using my root rake. As you probably noticed, the soil comes off easier if it's on the dry side. So one recommendation that I also mentioned in previous repotting videos is to keep from watering prior to repotting. This makes repotting much easier. Naturally, some species will respond better than others to lack of watering, so you'll have to adapt this recommendation to the needs of the species you're working with. My two dwarf Schefflera still won't separate even after removing most of the soil, so I'm trying to break up this mass of roots that is keeping the two plants together. The roots are tangled together around some pretty big chunks of coconut husk in here, so I'll have to get rid of those two. After a few more minutes I was able to clean up the remaining material and finally separate the two plants. Then I washed off all the remaining debris from the roots of the two Schefflera's to prepare them for root pruning and potting. Looking at the first Schefflera, the root plane will be somewhere around here where the roots are growing around the trunk in a radial manner. So I'm going to remove all the roots growing above this point. Then I'm cutting all the roots growing below the selected root plane. And finally I reduce the remaining roots back to a basic radial structure. I prune the roots of the second Schefflera in a very similar way. First. All the roots growing too high up on the trunk are removed. And then I cut back the remaining roots to a basic structure. Next, it's time to decide what shape to train this into. For this one, I will go with a basic broom style, since it has these three main branches forming a classic vessel shape. So I'll prune this one first. I'm going to reduce the length of the two longest branches to equalize the vigor. Each branch will be cut back to an existing leaf using directional pruning to direct the new growth toward the outside of the canopy. So I'm reducing this branch back to this outward facing leaf here. And on the second branch, I leave this as my last leaf node and make the cut somewhere around here. On my second dwarf Schefflera plant I can see some buds lower on the trunk. So I'll cut back the main trunk to a short stump and hope a new apex will develop from one of these buds. Once again, here are the points where I can see some buds forming, so I will make the cut above the topmost bud. And what I got here is a pretty big cutting. As a potting medium, I'm using a mix which is mostly inorganic and it's composed of perlite, vermiculite, pumice and some potting compost. After filling up most of the nursery pot, I make a small mount which helps in positioning the tree. And I try my best to position the roots so that they grow in a nice radial pattern and then fill in the rest of the pot. Tapping on the pot helped the soil particles settling inside the pot and around the roots. 
Then some stones placed on top will help keep the tree in place until the roots grow strong enough to keep the tree in place on their own. The same kind of soil and the same steps are then taken for potting the second chefflera. Finally, both chefleras receive a good watering before setting them aside for recovery. One month later, things didn't look too promising for the short Schaeffler's stump, which seemed to be dying. It was even more unstable in the pot than just after potting. So I cut off a piece to see how it looked on the inside, and it was pretty clear that it was too far gone to be saved. As you can see, the roots were completely dead. It seems that the hard pruning I applied to the roots and stem was too much for this Scheffler. Overwatering and overestimating its actual health state may have also played a role in its demise. The other Scheffler plant recovered well, and this is how it looks 3 months later. The canopy has filled in nicely, and there's even a new branch lower on the trunk. There are two leaves here that are preventing the light from reaching the growing tip on this branch, so I'm going to cut them off. I'll let this branch grow for now to help thicken up the lower trunk and I'll decide later if I'm going to use it in the tree design. Up in the canopy there's not much to do. I'm just going to remove some of the old leaves which have very long petioles. The growth is pretty compact for now and the dense foliage is starting to block light from reaching lower on the branches. Since all the growing tips have enough light, I'm not going to remove any more leaves. I'll just let the dwarf Schaeffler grow vigorously for now. While I'm sorry one of the plants died, I'm really happy with how well this one is growing. It's years away from having a nice canopy, but I'll keep working on it and I'll document its development. Like always, I would love to hear your opinion, so please leave me a comment in the section down below. This was all for now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next Odd Bonsai video.